Hey everyone, I'm here today taking a look at Mattel's Hammond collection Parasaurolophus based on its appearance in the Lost World Jurassic Park. Quick look at the box, it's got the T-Rex skeleton there and then the Hammond collection logo down there, the name. It's kind of this metal effect to the packaging as if it's a containment unit or something but then there is a bit of a jungle pattern along the bottom. And then on the side there's a picture, Hammond collection there. And on the back there's a picture of the toy as well as a photograph of it from the movie and a little sort of slight bio. And then the Lost World logo up in this corner. I'm not that keen on this packaging, I wish they'd gone for a more retro look of the Kenner packaging, that red effect with the jungle design in the background I think would have looked better. This is kind of bland. And here's the figure out of the packaging and the main selling point of these is the articulation. They've got a swivel at the head where it connects to the neck as well as at the bottom of the neck where it connects to the shoulders. There's a full swivel on both of those. The mouth also opens quite wide. Then with the arms, the shoulders have an articulation that goes out to the sides and up and down and round. There's articulation at the elbow, it's up and down and swivels as well. No articulation to the wrists though. Then for the legs, they pivot out a little bit on each side, as well as going forward and backwards. There's a knee joint that will swivel and go forward and backwards, and a kind of ankle joint that goes to the sides and forward and backwards. There's no joint lower down the ankle there, but I think that would probably make it a bit loose if you have too many joints along the leg. I think that makes it a lot sturdier being solid there, so I'm not too bothered about that. The feet are quite big on this as well, but once again, I think if the feet were smaller, there'd be some real balance issues with this. Then the tail is on a pivot, and you have to connect the tail when you get it out of the packaging, and once it's in there, you can't take it out. So the tail will move around and swivel, and then there's a wire inside the tail, and the tail itself is made of a soft rubbery plastic, so you can bend the tail however you want it, basically. I would have liked a swivel at the wrists as well, so you could have the hands pointed inwards better, because they now think that a lot of these dinosaurs probably would have had their hands facing inwards with the palm facing inwards rather than hanging down but because uh, there isn't that cut at the wrist you can have them facing each other but then the arms kind of fold out to the side like that and it's a bit odd not too bothered but uh, I would have liked that option but otherwise articulation is great on this nice sculpt and paint job to this with the brown on that kind of horn on the head there's a lot of orange going down the back with some brown and cream as well they haven't skimped on the paint detail. There's a little speckling on the bottom of the chest on the side there. More stripes on the arm and on the thigh. Nails on the hand aren't painted, but they are on the feet. It's kind of a light creamy colour underneath, and it gets darker on the back. He's got pretty big feet which helps with balance but sometimes he does topple forward he's a bit front heavy if you have him up on two legs and there's the mouth open you can see there's like the tongue sculpted inside there looks pretty good it's not often we have an open mouth feature for herbivores so with the open mouth feature you can have him eating leaves or drinking water or whatever if you're taking photos Here it is next to the Baryonyx, which it's a bit bigger than. And now here's a comparison with all the other Parasaurolophuses we've had over the years. And I think this is all of them that are in this scale from main lines. We've got this one here from Camp Cretaceous. The next one is the regular Jurassic World one, that Camp Cretaceous one has the kind of fluorescent pink on the back. And it is actually a mostly completely different sculpt to that one, even though they look very similar, they just have the same arms and legs. Then we've got the Hammond Collection one in the middle. The original from the Lost World toy line in 1997, which is the most similar to this Hammond Collection one. And then that little Lost World one we got recently, which is just kind of a juvenile. 
that came with the Hunter's Jeep and Roland Tembo. The Hammond Collection 1 is slightly bigger, but not so much that it really seems out of scale. I think all five of them look pretty good together, and the colours aren't so different either, so they do feel like a uh, complete species. Yeah, there's some slight variations in the colour, but nothing too drastic. Like with some of the species we've had, they've released it in completely different colours to the previous one, and they don't really fit right together, like the Albertosaurus, for instance. But I like that with the Pausarolophus, they've pretty much kept them all the same kind of colour, so they look really good together. This new one has a really fat face though, compared to the others, especially compared to the other Mattel ones we've had that have got really quite thin faces. So it looks kind of strange to me because I'm used to those thin faces on the others, but that may well be more accurate to the real life creature, I'm not sure. Makes it look slightly cartoony almost. I do like the sculpt on that original Lost World one. There's very similar colours to the original Lost World toy. Just more orange going along the back. On the original one, the orange just goes on the back of the head and the shoulders. And the Jurassic World's one are a bit more yellow. I love having extra articulation on these figures, so you can have it standing upright like that original Lost World one, or you can have it on all fours like the Jurassic World ones, and it fits in really well with all of them. So much fun to play around with and pose and take pictures of. So you can build up a really nice herd of these now. It's nice that we've got a juvenile as well as different adults that are in different poses. And Parasaurolophus is one of my favourite herbivores along with Ankylosaurus, so I'm glad we got this one so early in the line. Hopefully we'll get an Ankylosaurus soon as well, maybe uh, Bumpy from Camp Cretaceous. Just want to thank Keep On Collecting for sponsoring the channel through Patreon. Uh, they have a YouTube channel of their own which I'll link in the description if you want to check them out, they cover toys as well. Let me know what you think of this Parasaurolophus and if you plan on collecting the Hammond Collection and what dinosaurs you'd like to see in future. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll catch you again soon.